Welcome to The Daily Word. I'm really glad that you've joined me, and and thank you so much for doing that. And for our Daily Word today, we're going to go into the Gospel of John, chapter 6. And here in chapter 6, we're reading about the feeding of the 5,000. And and now that sounds really incredible, especially when you consider that Jesus did that with five loaves and two fish. But it's even more incredible when uh, you see here that It's really just indicating the number of men there. And so it could have been two or three times that or or more. But the point is that there are thousands and thousands of people here and Jesus feeds them uh, from uh, very little. And of course, Jesus is God. He can do what he likes. He could have fed them with, with nothing. But part of the point here is to show the disciples, to show us, what God can do with the very little that we have to offer Him. And, and this, this leads us into where I, I really felt like God was, was directing my attention today, and that is to chapter 6 and verse 15. So let me share that, and then we'll, we'll talk about it just for a couple of minutes here. When Jesus saw that they were ready to force Him to be their king, so the people are very excited at this great miracle, and they are prepared to make him king. And of course, when we read here that they wanted to force him, they wanted to make him king by force, it wasn't that they could make Jesus do it. Of course, uh, uh, if you haven't learned this already, um, you can't actually make Jesus do anything, right? Uh, he, he says about the crucifixion, uh, nobody takes my life from me, I lay it down. He does it willingly. And so it's not so much that they could make Jesus do it and he runs away. That's not what's happening here. It's that they they want to make Jesus into their sort of king, the king that they want him to be. When they saw that Jesus, when when Jesus saw that they were ready to force him to be their king, he slipped away into the hills by himself. Uh, I, I have to tell you, I, I continue to be amazed. And you would think that after a while, um, we just wouldn't be uh, at all surprised and amazed when God does, when He does great things uh, among us. But it just continues as a blessing from God to just delight me when, when we see uh, God at work. So just give you a quick for instance. I uh, was talking to somebody on staff uh, just the other day about an equipment need, and uh, he explained it to me, and he said, you know, it's, it's going to be about uh, $46, $4,700. And I said, I said okay, well, uh, let, me, let me go and, uh, and talk to our financial secretary and kind of see if we, could, if we could find that money. And, uh, and I tell you, I, literally, I'm in there talking to her, and somebody dropped off an offering check and they put a note on there that said, you know, I'm I'm including another $5,000 here for the church to do uh, whatever the church needs. And I shared with with this family that um, we, Pat and I, we just sat there amazed. And I told the other staff person, uh, I told Troy, Uh, about this and he was amazed that God had so directly and so promptly fulfilled that need and and we could go back to uh, a week ago and think about Operation Love Your Neighbor in the midst of everything else going on to see more than 300 people showing up to show the love of Jesus in our community to serve people, to see like 4,500 pounds of food also collected on that day when so much else was happening, when we've already given so much. All of this was a work of God through us and and thanks be to God. And so you would think, you know, after you see these miracles of God again and again, you would think that you just get used to it, but you don't, but you don't. It is still amazing. And, And I think that certainly uh, this happened on the day when Jesus fed the the five thousand plus. That God showed up and amazed, amazed his followers. 
that truly uh, all things are possible through Jesus Christ. Truly, with God, nothing is impossible. But, you know, he here's the thing. When the people go to try to um, make him king by force or to essentially try to make him into the sort of king that they want him to be, most likely uh, the sort of uh, military leader who is going to be divinely enabled to raise up an army and and to defeat the Romans and reestablish Israel as a nation and so forth. When they when they try to force it, when they try to force him to do something, to be something that he's not, Jesus leaves. And and I don't mean this to be overly harsh. I, I really don't. But what. I've seen, and what I'm sure lots of you all have seen, is that when we as believers, and, and particularly as church, as a church, as a church family, when we try to force things, when we try to go our own way, when we try to make church what we want it to be, um, how can I say this? Um, Jesus leaves us to it. The Holy Spirit leaves us to do it on our own, slips out through the back door. You see, the thing about experiencing the power of God unleashed in, in our life together as a church family is it can never be on our terms, never. It is always according to the will and the plan and purposes of God. Truly, if, if you want to see the miracles of God, if you want to see God at work, Yield to Him. Be in His Word. Um, be, be in prayer without ceasing. Be constantly uh, aware of His presence, of His leading, of His guiding, of His prompting. And whatever God says, do it. E even if you don't think that you can, even if you don't think that you're able, and maybe, let's say, especially if you don't think you're able, do it. Step out. Step out in faith and, and watch what God does. Just give God a chance to move, to work. If it is of God, if God has, has opened a door uh, for the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ, if God's opened a door and, and we step through it, God will provide. He will. We've seen that again and again as a church family, that every door that God has opened even throughout this year of pandemic we've seen, and especially this year, every door that God opened, we, we've stepped through by the grace of Jesus Christ. We, we have stepped through again and again. We have found God faithful again and again and again. And so, bottom line today, if you want to see God move, if you want to see His miracles in your life, yield to Him. That's it. Full stop. Yield to Him. Step out in faith, and you will see you will see God move. Offer Him your five loaves and two fish and just watch what He does. Watch what He does. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. And until we get a chance to speak again, may God bless you and keep you.